Hello guys, it's Ben, back at it again, with another Ace Eyes review. Today, we're going to take a quick look at Crusader Kings 3. Yeah, I know I'm a bit late with this review, but please forgive me, I was just too busy playing this game. Your brother was lost thanks to the deceit and treachery of your enemies. Now... The weight of your bloodline lies on your shoulders. Be thankful to your enemies, for they teach you the ways to power. Paradox Interactive with the Grand Strategy games are not generally known for being graphical strong games. Yet, the last couple of years the graphics of their games really improved a lot. This time around for Crusader King 3, they went for a more cartoony art style when it comes to character design and sorts. The map itself looks amazing with a ton of detail on every level of zooming. The moving characters and the respective menus are helping to the immersion of the game as well. They really outclass themselves when it comes to graphics this time around. And don't get me wrong, it's not only the graphics. The sound and especially the soundtrack is amazing and really at times make your hair go stand straight up on your arms. Just take a look at how the game handles it when you declare war on one of your enemies. Gameplay and story-wise, this is actually a quite interesting one because in Crusader Kings 3 you make up your own story. Yeah, that's right. So therefore, with the help of tons of gameplay mechanics, the game is just as good as your imagination lets it be. Yeah, maybe this sounds quite cheap, but really trust me, it's not. The game gives you a huge amount of options to lead your life the way you see fit. I will give you an example. When you play as a ruler in the Iberian Peninsula with an Islam invasion at your doorstep, it's your task to reunite all Christian land and mainland Spain under your banner. May it be in cooperation or under more direct rule. And defy further Muslim expansion north. This makes you wield an aggressive yet cunning playstyle to make sure your dynasty does not fall within a span of 20 years. On the other side of this playstyle is for example playing as a petty king in Ireland, where you do not have this huge threat on your doorstep and you can play a more diplomatic and statesman style of ruler. The way you play the game is the way the game evolves, it's just as simple as that. One big thing you will be looking at in Crusader Kings 3 are numbers and values. If that doesn't sound interesting to you then sorry but I don't know what will. Ok maybe not in the barebone context of what numbers are but the game actually makes it fun to play with these values. Those numbers influence a big part of the story driven events that build up your own story. Your character will react differently in certain situations when for example he has a high diplomatic stat. In a situation where he needs to resolve a diplomatic event with one of your vassals then, for example when he has a low diplomatic stat, or maybe no stat at all. Another example are armies. Without your army, your realm will soon fall to your enemies, but these armies and battles around them are just numbers as well. Yet they are well animated on the map so it still looks and feels amazing. One of the biggest problems that new players to the franchise will have is that Crusader Kings has a really steep learning curve. So please do not expect to know everything you need to know after your first playthrough because even after your 100th playthrough you will still learn new things about one game mechanic or another. What CK3 does much better than CK2 did is helping new players to explain everything in detail. And when I say everything, I really mean everything. The developers implemented a general tooltip system when, where hovering over a specific item name, you get a pop-up window next to your cursor explaining what you're looking at. 
even giving you the option to move your cursor into the tooltip box and hover over words or game mechanics that you don't understand and explain them in another tooltip box. This you can keep doing until you understand everything you need to know at that specific time or for that specific situation. Crusader Kings 3 is one of the best grand strategy games out there, with a huge amount of content, and surely Paradox Interactive knowing they will add a ton more in the next couple of years. Be sure to check it out and give it some time when playing, it will pay off in the long run for sure, please trust me on this one. Now for finishing this review, here is a short part of the soundtrack from CK3 that really explains the greatness of this game. Enjoy it! <laughs> 